Good morning, visitors. Right now, we have the first departure of the new shipping season. We are a few days into spring, but today marks the beginning of another important season in our region shipping season. Early this morning, the Lee H. Ragurtha sailed under the lift bridge, becoming the first ship to depart the Twin Ports for the 2023 season. Good evening, I'm Briggs LaSavage. And I'm Dan Wolf. Thanks for joining us. Shipping is a huge part of the Northland's economy. From the cargo itself to tourism, each year ships make about 800 passes under the area lift bridge. It's quite the journey getting there. From Minnesota to Michigan tonight, we have team coverage to kick off the beginning of the season. Now we're going to start with Northern News Now's Rob Coles, who heard from leaders with the Port Authority in Duluth about how they're feeling heading into this year's opener. He joins us live from the Lift Bridge in Canal Park. How's it looking out there, Rob? Well, Dan and Briggs, if you look behind me, you can see the Duluth Harbor there. It looks pretty empty, but leaders with the Port Authority are hoping that doesn't last long What's shipping season in the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Sea System officially kicks off this weekend. And here's another look at the Lee A. Tregurtha, leaving at about 9 this morning, heading to Marquette, Michigan. It is the first ship to leave Duluth Superior Harbor this year. Deb DeLuca with Duluth Seaport, uh, uh, Seaway Port Authority says the port supports about 8,000 jobs in the region and provides provides $1.4 billion worth of economic activity in the area. She's excited about some recent developments leading into this year's shipping season, including the Twin Ports old General Mills grain silo getting back in production under new ownership from Hanson Muller. The port has also added a monthly stop from Dutch shipping company Splithof, which would allow cargo containers to travel from Duluth to Belgium on a regular basis. We added the container capability last year, but having that regular service means that companies can know that they have a committed uh, route in and out of the uh, in and out of this area every month. And the commercial navigation season is set to start in just about 36 hours from now when the Sulox opens at midnight Friday night into Saturday. And according to DeLuca, this may actually also be a big year for shipping cement with all of the uh, building going on around the country. Dan? It's good to see ships passing under the lift bridge once again. Thank you, Rob. And as you saw from Rob there, the first ship of the season has now passed under the aerial lift bridge on her way to Marquette to load iron ore. Then she'll work her way south to the Sioux Locks in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And that's where we find our Peter Kevakowskis, who got an in-depth tour of the locks. Peter, I know this is a dream assignment for you. Sounds like you've been learning a lot about how they keep those locks in good shape during the off-season. Yeah, that's right, Briggs. Definitely a lot to learn in the few days that I have been here. But the Sioux locks here behind me have been closed for the past few months since the tug and barge defiance last passed through the locks on the morning of January 16th. While no ships may pass through the locks during the federally mandated maintenance period from January 16th to March 25th, those three months are anything but a break for the Army Corps of Engineers who are tasked with keeping the locks up and running. This year, they removed nearly 22 million gallons of water from the Po Lock, which is one of two operational locks here at the Sioux. This allowed maintenance crews to have better access to the locks during this crucial time frame. Leanne Reichingham, the Sioux Locks Operations Manager, says this annual maintenance period is meant to ensure smooth operations once the, ship once the shipping season does begin, something she says is vital to the Great Lakes region and the nation as a whole. So if we did have an outage, it definitely has a widespread impact nationally and economically. So that's why this period is so important. It allows us to strategically plan and reduce the risk of having an outage during the nav season. And that commercial navigation season is set to start about 36 hours from now, as Rob mentioned, when the Sioux locks here behind me open up at midnight between Friday night and Saturday. And breaks a handful of ships are already en route to the Sioux locks here. But the big winner will be the Edwin H. Gott, who is already in line, ready for the opening tomorrow night at midnight. They arrived here right about noon time today. All right, Peter Kevakowski is live for us in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Thank you, Peter. And I know we're looking forward to hearing more from you tomorrow.